Hi guys, I am Shravan. This is After Effects tutorial. Today you are going to learn something like this. Let's have a look of it. Sorry. Yeah, this is the video I made like a simple ad. And I will show the all effects I made in this video, like the images and the animating the text. And let's begin the tutorial. It's not much much difficult tutorial. It's an easy that everyone can make. Everyone can make. Yeah. For that, let's take a new canvas. I prefer minimum of HD resolution, 1280 by 720 resolution. And grace. Okay. Let's click on okay. For I need an image, let's go and this is the image I made in simple matte painting for in city destruction. Yeah, take this to the composition. Oh, sorry, take this to the composition and it is scale out. Let's scale in like 60. Yeah, no, it's 62. Yeah, 62 is perfect. And let's fit up to 100% or you can press shift question mark to fit fit the screen yeah that's okay and this is the image i took and let's have i am so sorry i'll first i will show the how to create this group so this the image is coming from and joining together to make a single image yeah let's duplicate for this for a safety purpose and let's select can shape let's draw a shape yeah is the shape is okay but the color is not suitable for the background let's choose white is better i think yeah white is good let's increase a little bit stroke and make the fill null okay and make certain duplicates of this yeah and go to move tool and move this to the random however you want yeah and keep rotation like this whichever you want in the final let's keep this yeah this is perfect i think and go to the third one and rotate little bit Go to the fourth one and rotate little bit and arrange it according and arrange according to the image. And now it's perfect, I think. Yeah. And this is the image we took and duplicate it four times because of four shapes are there. One, two, three, four, and keep it the image one down the other shape. And then Remove the extra digital You know, we need that one one more shape. Yeah, now it's perfect. And go to this minimize. Then we are minimized the hammer this all make simple of this more here. This is the shape I made and this is the and this is the background image I have. And go to the image and mask it around according to the shape. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, go to the pen tool. Sorry. Go to the pen tool. Click on this one. Yeah, the other is not visible. I think I will change the color. Press M for mask. Change this color to something red. Is good. Right now. Yeah. See, this is the image, and I mask. And go to the next two images next two layer and this is the image i have and this is the shape i have let's go to the image and do according to same what i did in the last image mask exactly how the shape is done because afterwards you can find some problems i'm putting in the edges and do according to the next shape also let's click on Click, 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 click. Yeah, and it is there. And the final shape is there. Do for that one also. 
shapes on the mask there yeah and now we'll show this humming this is q and new cool effect if i move this sorry if i move this image was the shape is not coming from to the image why because it's not parent to that one let's have parent to the thing let's control c to go back and go to this image and parent to that shape yeah, the shape now. If you move the shape layer, the image is automatically coming to that shape. Yeah, just move like this and make the make like that to every every shape. Link this one to that shape and make this image to link that to the shape. And if you move that every image, the image also will move out according to that. And let's have this position. Let's animate some position parameters. Let's go to uh, two seconds. Let's turn on the position. All will turn on because I all selected the all four shape layers. And now we have to choose different values for it and go to the zero level and zoom out canvas and move this point to little bit outside of the canvas and go to this shape and move this one a little bit outside of the canvas. And do according to the all and go to this yeah. and like this and let's have a look of how it's coming yeah it's perfectly all right the images is coming according to inside of the shape only but it's pretty boring let's add some simple rotation parameter to make some this look interesting yeah at the final okay, two seconds let's select these four shapes click 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 and press shift r for the rotation rotation press r rotation for all yes, because the uh, rotation must be same at the end of the combining of all that frames yeah now we animate the rotation bar of the, for the single shape Let's uh, rotate this one to 20 centimeter. Let's have a look at it. See, it's, this one is rotating something little bit. Yeah, let's animate the more like 60. And let's have a look of it. Yeah, now it's rotate little bit. Let's have a fast. Yeah, no, 60. Make it 90. So let's just play the play with that values you can get up some cool effects yeah now go to this one make it a hundred rotation but see the image is coming inside move that position a little bit outside and go to this rotation keep it 85 see the rotation and just to run and just to run to make some adjustment to that one and keep that to 100 yeah, let's keep it near to the canvas and let's have a look of its arms coming. And it's coming good, but it's pretty slow. And let's move this all parameters to one and a half second. I think it's better. Let's have a Let's convert this all. Like smooth move, convert to an assistant easy ease or you can press F9. I will usually prefer to press okay, sorry. After smoothing this case, let's have a look of it. I think it's a little bit slow. Let's move this call keyframes to one second. Is it one second? Let's play this one. Then now it's fine and let's have a and now we are going to have something like text coming like rotating yeah let's do that one uh, now click the text layer and just 
this icon please check or uncheck the this uh, toggle switches you have under the layers turn on this 3d layer and press off for the rotations let's zoom out and do this one to exact 90 degree no because we want to adjust first the the this point is not in the center of this uh, text let's go to this move tool and move this sorry move this to and Hold the control key to snap the points wherever the corner points are there, like middle. It will snap exactly the points. And go to move to again and click on the rotation and go to 10 frames back. I think. Otherwise, press shift page up. Go, go to 10 frames back and press 90 degree. Yeah. And now you can see that it's coming like that only, as we seen in the last video. The text must be is not visible in the center. Let's move this text to that like below. Yeah. Now play this one. I think that see the text is seeing is little bit less animate some transforming. Let's press T And press the transformation of the full zero when it comes to one frame. Yeah, press hundred percent. Now it's not able to do this. It's come normally. Otherwise, it's yeah. It's come good. I don't like the black black background. I don't like the white background. Sorry. Black is fine. Click on OK. And put this to the bottom of the notes. Not bad. And let's create some one more share, one more solid layer and click this one to the white. Click on OK and bring to this one to above that black layer. And let's have a mass and go to the ellipse tool and double click the ellipse and you click and go to the mask and press F for the mask feather and mask like 150. Let's mask it more, more and more. Oh, I guess 600. Yeah, 600 will look good. Do whatever you want, just learn the tools and play with that one. And use the simple effect you can do for images to look, it will be look good. Uh, this is Sam Stravan. And this is the end of the video. If you have liked this video, hit the like button in the below. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.